Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So um, I do have my trusty assistant here with me today per usual. So um, he's once again feeling needy. Uh, we're, we're doing another candle haul today. So <laughs> my apologies. I know that we just did the nest candle haul on Tuesday. Um, but this is actually a, an order that I placed at Homeworks several weeks ago. I got the first part of it um, late last week and then um, some things had to be shipped se shipped separately for some reason and then I got the second half of the order just um, a little bit earlier this week. So um, I'm gonna share this with you. There are some holiday things in here and I was expecting like a couple of things in terms of PR to come my way from Homeworks. Um, and I think that they actually popped that PR in with my order, which is totally fine if that, you know, saves um, shipping and the resources and the planet in some kind of way, that's totally fine. But there were a couple things when I opened the box, I was like, I, I didn't order this. <laughs> D did they make a mistake? Why am I getting this? And then I was like, oh, I wonder, I wonder if this is the PR. So I will save the things that I suspect to be PR. It's, it's, it's a couple things. Um, for the end of the video. So for those of you that just absolutely hate that kind of stuff, um, uh, you know, you, you can tune out at that point. I'll let you know when, <laughs> when we get to that spot. Um, but this first part is all stuff that I, I purchased. So um, yeah, a uh, little heads up for you. Um, if you are a Homeworks fan, um, I am going to be doing a giveaway um, with Homeworks on my Instagram um, a little bit later this month and I just want to give you guys a heads up. So if you're not following me on Instagram, um, you should. I don't know why you're not. There is amazing pug content over there. <laughs> yeah, I like I don't put much of myself on my Instagram. Occasionally I do, but it, it revolves mostly around Penny and Alfie who are currently licking each other's faces right now but um yeah i i do sometimes share some candle stuff over there i try to like you know put the sales up and things like that but yeah so um i'm gonna be doing a giveaway with instagram there are gonna be i believe two winners so it's worth following me and entering for the for the chance to win what i think is gonna be a really great little prize so anyway um yeah it's just mr kong's mom and um join me Let's let us Instagram together, right? You guys, you got you got to stop. Okay, well now now she's over your shenanigans, so we we're gonna part ways. Uh, sorry. All right, let's get into the haul. Let's do it. Okay, these are things that I purchased. Let's go. Um, here we have this beautiful metallic bronzy hobnail. Love that there are no longer labels on the fronts of the hobnails. They are just on the bottom, which is great. Alfie, you are pushing buttons that you really should not be pushing right now. Um, what is this fragrance? So I almost bought this from QVC in a set of two because I was really intrigued by the fragrance. I'm glad I didn't because um, I was able to get one uh, from homeworks.shop, which is where all of these candles are from, by the way. None of these are from QVC. It's actually been a little while since I've ordered from QVC. I try really hard if I can to purchase from homeworks.shop only because I only have to buy one of the candles there. And as you guys are aware, I'm trying to whittle down a little bit of my homeworks collection and shopping with homeworks through QVC has caused my homeworks collection to kind of explode because they're sold in in multiples there, right? Like you can't just buy like one, at least for the vast majority. So um, yeah, it's plus the sales, I feel like over at Dot Shop and the shipping, quite frankly, are just less expensive. So the, that's why I've been doing much more from there. But there are a couple things that I know are gonna be dropping at QVC that I do have my eye on. So I'm gonna have to like, you know, eat the cost of buying two. <laughs> but I think they might be worth it. So it's a 
little heads up for you. Okay, woodland cranberry, ripe cranberry, red currant, dark plum, and cashmere woods. As we did with the nest haul, these are these are just first sniff impressions. Um, I cannot tell you how this candle burns. I'm gonna need to burn it and test it, as I do with all of my candles. So we'll get there. I promise. I'm almost done with all of my fall reviews. I'm pretty darn proud of myself. There's still a few more. <laughs> Geez, I, I really thought I had been like pretty much done, but then I looked in my little candle areas and I was like, oh, I forgot about these. So, but we're getting there. We're gonna get to holiday reviews absolutely by the 1st of November. I can promise you that. Now, let's see, what does this bad boy smell like? This is a lot earthier than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm glad that I didn't get this in a set of two because even on cold sniff, I'm just kind of like, eh. I'm not sure that this is quite the fragrance for me, but it might sweeten up when I'm burning it. So I, I am withholding judgment for the time being, but I'm just gonna tell you what I smell on cold sniff. Sir, you need to not, not look out the window right. Pick another window. <laughs> okay, so I get a, I get quite a bit of like a patchouli vibe, but like cranberry mixed with patchouli. Slightly earthier patchouli. Patchouli is not listed. That's weird. M maybe cashmere woods is what I'm interpreting as patchouli. Um, red currant. Ooh, I was hoping I would not smell the red currant, and you know what? I don't really think I do. Yeah, a touch. I get like a touch of red currant, but not anything crazy. Um, plum. Yeah, I, get, I definitely get some plum on cold sniff here. This is interesting. I will say it's, it's not anything that makes me think, wow, like this is amazing and I have to have it. This is definitely not like a gourmand type scent. I would put this more of in a like perfumey type of category um more so than even fruity perfumey fruity yeah and i think it's that like what i'm interpreting as patchouli that is making me mostly put it within that category so um up next now this was available last year and i never picked it up and so when it showed up at dot shop i was like okay i'm gonna try it this year it is the holiday spice candle and um the notes on this one are clementine fir needles clove pomander and simmering spices so if you know anything about me you know that i'm a big like orange pomander girl like that is for me like that is the holidays so when i saw that i had a citrus in here the clementine when i saw that i had like a holiday tree note in the fir needles and when i saw the simmering spices um and the fact that it said clove pomander i was like whoa this is gonna be it like i should have probably just picked this up last year already but let's sniff it because this is this is not this this does this i'm having a brain fart this does not smell how i thought it was going to this on cold sniff smells like quite a bit of cinnamon borderline borderline spicy cinnamon which for me is not a favorite on cold i get no citrus i get a touch of like the fur needle note but i mostly get like cinnamon and like mulling type spices um yeah that's interesting i really hope the citrus comes out when i'm burning it but this this does not smell like how i thought it would um i think on cold sniff i'm okay with it but definitely not what i was expecting i will say that for sure all right next okay I just I got a backup of this <laughs> this was just a backup because I love it so much it's the praline pecan you guys have heard me talking about this one multiple times oh it's just so good I'm so glad he brought this back and I'm very thankful that it went over to dot shop because um, 
I, I get better deals on it there. So I think I'm set on the Praline Pecan now for probably the remainder of the year. And um, I will just hope that it comes back in the future. If it doesn't, I'll have to be okay with that because I've kind of gotten to a place where, you know, I'm going to enjoy the things that I have now. And um, if something gets discontinued, they're going to come out with other scents in the future. And I'm probably going to find something else that I like, right? Like, I think for me, my candle hoarding days in a lot of ways really are behind me. Now, I still have a lot to get through in the meantime, but yeah anyway it's just a little bit about me there <laughs> okay this one i was super curious about because bath and body works also has a snickerdoodle candle that they have come out with for the last few seasons around the holidays and i love this on cold sniff okay now now we're getting into like melanie's wheelhouse here with like the gourmands I always say, if it smells like a cookie, a cake, a pie, or something I can stuff down my gullet, give it to me. I will take it all. <laughs> so what are our notes here? Okay, we have freshly baked cookie, sugar crystals, cinnamon, and warm vanilla. This, this is perfect. This is exactly what I smell. It smells like a really nice sugar cookie base with the like sugar and cinnamon you know, mixed it mixed in like you would with a with a snickerdoodle. Um, and there is like a like a warm vanilla note in there as well. It kind of smells a little bit like the warm vanilla sugar. It's giving me warm vanilla sugar vibes from Bath and Body Works. But it doesn't take it down the slightly perfumey route that you get with the warm vanilla sugar. It just makes it smell even more cozy and delicious. Yeah. Okay. Now this one. I've I've already smelled through these. Sorry. I was gonna be like, oh yeah, this is first very first sniff impressions. It's not. I no. If I open the box once it comes, like I'm I'm sniffing the stuff. <laughs> so occasionally I can hold back for like a true first sniff impressions, but not this round. So let's not kid ourselves okay this is I don't like this <laughs> sorry this is way too much ginger and I do not like ginger I it has to be done incredibly well for me and this is way too much ginger I don't think this is an awful scent this is just not the scent for me um and I should have known that because this is the thankful ginger and pumpkin ginger is absolutely the first thing that just smacks me in the face if you are someone who loves ginger you are going to love this i cannot believe how strong this candle is on cold sniff like i would say outrageously strong if it had less oomph to it i think i might be able to really enjoy this one but I gotta be honest, I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time burning this one and testing it for you guys. Um, I'm gonna do it because I bought it. I might as well, I might as well test it. But I don't know that I'm gonna be able to finish the whole thing. Um, I might give it a few burns and then prob this is probably gonna go in the like pass along to someone else pile because I, I just don't think that I can burn this long term. There is so much intense ginger in this. Here's the thing. Ginger reminds me of when I was pregnant with my child. <laughs> and that for most women is like an absolutely beautiful time where they feel like they're most stunning. I had awful, awful morning sickness for months and months of my pregnancy. Like I spent so much time in the bathroom when I was working, I was working outside of the home at that point. And it, I was just ill, I was ill all the time. And so my doctor was like, you should use ginger to settle your stomach. Um, I didn't wanna use, you know, other things. And so I was, I was trying all these different ginger candies and make uh, drinking ginger tea. And so when I think of ginger now, I equate ginger with, I don't feel well. <laughs> I just I don't like it it just I cannot get my brain to reverse that and that's the powerful thing about scent memory is 
once there is a scent attached to a memory like that can be an amazing thing if it's a beautiful memory for you <laughs> and don't get me wrong i love my daughter and she was worth every single uh day that i spent in front of the toilet during those nine months but you know what i i'm also glad that that part is done so anyway ginger and pumpkin are the only notes i'm there's nothing else i can tell you do i smell pumpkin in here deep down like in the in the basement of this candle there is a touch of like a canned pureed pumpkin type note but the the skyscraper above that basement is ginger how is that for a visual you guys am i painting the picture i hope so okay so these are the three these are three candles now that I think are, I think these are PR. Um, so let's go through them. <clears throat> the first one I have actually already reviewed and it's back this year. I know I didn't place an order for this <clears throat> because I really didn't actually fall in love with this one when I reviewed it the last time, but it smells different to me this year. And if you get this, and you loved it last year will you tell me whether my nose has just changed or whether the formulation has been tweaked because I don't remember really enjoying this as much even on cold sniff as much as I like this year's version I really think this was tweaked this is this is one that I think is going to be worth a re-review it it's somewhat light on cold sniff, I will say that. But this year's version smells creamier. Much creamier, slightly sweeter. What what are the notes? Let's let's talk about the notes. If you're new, <laughs> this is spiked eggnog, ground nutmeg, whipped cream, spiced cognac and dark rum. I think that like whipped cream is really amped up in here. Now I do get some slightly boozy notes as one should. This is a spiked eggnog after all. Maybe it's rum, maybe it's cognac. I don't know. Booze to me a lot of times like it all kind of blends into each other. Like I'm I'm not one of those people that really does a fantastic job of um like picking out like a barrel aged whiskey versus a barrel aged brandy or cognac or rum, Jamaican rum versus, I don't know, rum from some other place where rum is made. Um, yeah, I'm not your booze expert, but I like, I like this version better. On cold sniff anyway, we will re-review this, so. Thank you, Homeworks, for this one. This. Okay, so I do also have a holiday candle haul coming, and this is in that haul. And I'm so glad I bought this, because now I have two. <laughs> oh, I like this one, you guys. This is the Snowy Sleigh Ride. This is a new scent for this year. And... Oh, I like this so much on cold sniff. Ooh, yes, let's talk about the notes. This smells very fresh. Normally, I'm not a huge fresh, like outdoorsy, minty type of scent, mm -hmm. but this blend here, it works for my nose. I will take it. Blue spruce, snow-covered woods, pine sap, and winter air. I feel like the winter air component in here is a slight touch of like maybe like a eucalyptus mintiness um but not a ton like that isn't the predominant note for me it's the spruce it's the pine sap the pine sap adds that like sweetness that you're gonna smell in here and then the woods i don't i don't know about covered woods but yeah spruce that touch of like outdoorsy freshness and then that sweet sap note it's this 
this is lovely good job good job homeworks team this this one here she is a winner and then also I got this and I thought like oh I wonder if they just sent me this from like my holiday order but no like I, I don't think that they are doing that type of like deep in-depth research in their um in their like shipping department i don't quite frankly i don't think they have time to be totally honest um <clears throat> this is a three wick of the iced sugar cookie now i have a four wick of the iced sugar cookie that i purchased that is coming in that holiday candle haul totally spoiling that haul by the way um but holy cannoli does this smell amazing and strong on cold like this is another one where after i opened it i thought oh, we have a winner winner chicken dinner here oh, i don't know what the price point is gonna be of the three wick version like retail price point um the the four wick is at the regular 30 dollar price point which by the way I buy all the homeworks candles during a sale because yeah i mean i might buy them to like review on my channel here but also if I, if i can save a buck i'm gonna save a buck it's i'm not crazy um so this should apparently be available soon in this three wick version but the four wick is what i have coming so that's what kind of made me go wait but i ordered a four wick and then i thought this is probably like a PR thing, so that's why I'm putting it here. Anyway, but let's let's discuss since we're here. Okay, we have sweet cookie, buttercream icing, sweet vanilla, and brown sugar. Okay, so erase the brown sugar, but just keep those other three things. Sugar cookie, buttercream icing, sweet vanilla. Stop it, get out of town. Once again, this is a classic, like just cookie that you would make during the holidays that makes your house smell warm, cozy, inviting. Um, I love the label. Oh my gosh. And sugar cookies are my favorite. They're my favorite, especially when you have the, like the thicker, slightly harder sugar cookie and you have that beautiful, like thick icing on the top. Um, like the kinds of cookies that people do as favors, like at weddings, you know, like that type of sugar cookie, that is what I love. And that is what this smells like. Um, you can also get those types of sugar cookies typically at Starbucks sometimes, especially during the holidays. Like they'll have like trees and I don't know. I think I bought Stella a fox at one point, like a really cute little like fox decorated sugar cookie oh just adorable stella's big on foxes fox eye fox foxes fox what is the pearl for fox <laughs> it's foxes right <laughs> who knows but all i can tell you is this is delicious and quite strong on cold sniff so now will that translate to a strong burn and throw once i light her up i i don't know we're gonna have to test it so i will I'm gonna start burning this bad boy uh, today because I I could use a sugar cookie to be totally honest with you guys. <laughs> I could, could probably actually use about 10 sugar cookies. Oh, this smells good. Delicious. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of the haul. Oh, you got some candle chunks on you. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean up my pug. Anyway, um, thanks for tuning in. Um, let me know if you picked up any of these things that I showed here. Let me know if you have started burning these things. Are what's your experience? Um, I always like to know what you guys experience with the candles as well. I'm only telling you what my experience is. So um, you know, let let us let us fill the comments with with experiences because um, you know. But I, but one thing I do want to ask is just if you have like a negative experience, just be constructive with your criticism. If I, I only delete comments on my page if someone is just being outright rude towards me in terms of like my looks or how I talk or the fact that sometimes I mispronounce words. Um, but also if someone is just like 
being just very aggressive and like nasty about their experience with the company like i just i don't know i just don't think that that like helps anything um i i don't know if homeworks looks at these videos and reads the comments and takes in the feedback and the suggestions my hope is that they certainly do um because i think that that is how companies identify issues and i think that that is how they can then hopefully address and fix the issues so um yeah I, it's just what your mama taught you <laughs> just if you have something to say say it in a constructive way even if it is you know some somewhat negative feedback so we all know how to be grown-ups i i would hope but my time on youtube has taught me otherwise so thus i make the reminder for you all so anyway i hope you have a great rest of your day i will link all of these candles down below uh where i purchased them i will also put my affiliate discount code if you're interested in using it it'll save you 10 percent off an order of 40 dollars or more so if there's a great sale coming up most times you can combine that discount code just remember that it only kicks in once your order hits forty dollars or more if you're not ordering forty dollars worth then it's you're not going to be able to use it but then you just you know get whatever sale price is available at the time so um i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch i appreciate you supporting my channel so much it means the world to me and um subscribe if you're new and don't forget to follow me on instagram for the giveaway and i'll see you in the next one take care Hello.